बच्चों वेलकम टू वेदांत नीट इंग्लिश आम दीक्षा कौशल्य केमिस्ट्री मास्टर टीचर एंड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम इन जस्ट 15 मिनट्स अलोंग विद द माइंड मैप दैट आई हैव मेड स्पेशली फॉर यू सो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट द टॉपिक विद द सब एटॉमिक पार्टिकल्स दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन एंड न्यूट्रॉन डिस्कवरीज एज यू कैन सी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर कैथोड रेज दैट आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द गैस प्रोटॉन्स प्रोटॉन्स आर नॉट एनोड रेज ओके एनोड रेज आर द गैशियस आयंस ओके सो दे आर dependent on the gas right they are dependent on the gas so now when we talk about electron protons and neutrons these are the charges these are the masses so and these are the discoverers so electrons were discovered by thomson proton were by goldstein and neutron by chadwick now students next thing we have alpha beta gamma so alpha is helium 2 positive beta is electron and gamma has no charge no mass talking about the size we have firstly we have alpha then beta then gamma talking about the speed and penetration power we have gamma then beta then we have alpha now students next is e x z okay so what is x x is the element a is the mass number z is the atomic number atomic number is equals to the number of protons or the number of electrons in a neutral atom talking about a that is mass number that is equals to neutrons plus protons now let us talk about the models here firstly we have thomson model so thomson model states that if this is a watermelon the red part is the positively charged sphere which is uniformly distributed and electrons are the black seeds that are embedded in it okay this was the first model next we have second model that is rutherford model so this rutherford model this has three observation three conclusion observation is alpha particles when there is no deflection that means most of the space inside the atom is empty so some of the alpha particles are deflected by some angle that means there is heavy positive charge in the center and few alpha particles were so stressful that they just bounced back so what does that mean that means that positive charge is very dense it is very it is located in a very small space and it is very heavy it is very dense right so this is the radius of atom that is 10 raised to power minus 10 radius of nucleus that is 10 raised to power minus 15. 3 right and 1.4 into 10 raised to power minus 13 e1 by 3 next students we have bohr model so bohr model has few formulas as you can see right so bohr model states that see rutherford model got failed because of maxwell theory it, it cannot predict the stability of the atom so uh, bohr model suggested that the orbits there are orbits which are fixed energy which has fixed radius and electrons actually live in that orbit and it has that energy which is exhibited by that orbit right so the formulas were given according to radius what is the velocity what is time period what is the total energy what is kinetic energy what is potential energy right so these are all formulas where n is the orbit number and z is the atomic number next students we have mvr that is angular momentum equals to nh by 2 pi right then we have frequencies equals to delta e by h so these are all the formulas where questions are directly asked then we have limitation very important that is zeeman and shark effect zeeman effect is splitting of lines in magnetic field shark is splitting of lines in electric field next students we have isobars iso means same so isobar is a same z different a atomic number atomic mass and z is the atomic number right so isotopes is z same a different isotons is neutrons are same isoelectrons are electrons are same isosters are where number of electrons are same and number of atoms are also same isodiaphers are where number of neutrons minus number of protons are same right then students we have mass of electrons is equals to 1 by 8 3 1 by 1 8 3 7 mass of proton or 1 amu that is atomic mass unit now next formula is given by this where r is the rydberg constant and in this formula you should also know what is the value of 1 by r what is the value of r here right next students is this series that is lyman barmer partition bracket p1 what is the n1 here n1 is fixed here and to which regions they lie for example barmer lies in visible region uh, p1 lies in infrared region lyman lies in uv region okay so what are these regions ma'am this is bachcha electromagnetic spectrum as you can see this right so this is the electromagnetic spectrum where this is the gamma rays then we have, this is the gamma rays then we have x rays then we have uv then we have vibgyor right then we have infrared 
on it, then we have radio waves. Okay, so these are the series. Okay, so this is where the Lyman Balmer Parson bracket P for lens. Okay, next is the formulas that the speed of light is 3 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second, and wave number is inverse of lambda, inverse of wavelength, and C is equals to mu lambda. Right, okay, students. Next, students, we have microscopic particle. We have this principle uh, that is his uncertainty principle where delta x that is uncertainty in position dot multiplied by uncertainty in momentum is greater than equals to h by 4 pi. We can say uncertainty in position into uncertainty in velocity is greater than equals to h by 4 pi. Right, okay, students. Now we have we are almost going to start our. Quantum mechanics. Now, before that, what is photoelectric effect? So, photoelectric. So, this was the constant confusion, right, between dual nature. So, this is h mu, h mu naught. That is work function, where mu naught is the threshold frequency plus one half m e square. M e m is the uh, mass of electron. V square is the velocity, right? So, this total corresponds to the kinetic energy. If you want to stop that electron from coming out of the metal for that we need to stop it and where we apply the stopping potential so vs is the stopping potential right so there should be qv when q is the charge of electron so we have written e here right okay students now this is a dual behavior of matter for that we have de Broglie's equation so better this is de Broglie's equation that is uh, lambda is equals to h by p h by mb equals to h by under root 2 m ke right this is the de Broglie's equation Okay, students, next we have, students, now we have started quantum mechanics here. So, what is quantum mechanics, students? Quantum mechanics is nothing, but this is actually Schrodinger's wave equation. Okay, this is the equation and their psi square is the probability of finding the electrons. From that, we have few things, that is radial nodes, angular nodes, and what are quantum numbers. Okay, so the quantum numbers, if we talk about quantum numbers, N, L, M, S. Okay, spin quantum numbers were not the solution of Schrodinger's wave equation. Although N, L, M are the solution. So N is the principal quantum number, L is the azimuthal. M is the magnetic. So N is actually defines the size or the shell. This is the shell number. L is the subshell, or we can say it defines the shape of the uh, shape of the electron or shape of the that subshell. Okay. When we talk about M, that defines the orientation. Okay, that defines the orientation. S is the how electrons is there. Is it clockwise? It is is it uh, anti-clockwise? So now there are few formulas related to this. N we say that is 1, 2, 3 for anything here. Right? L is 0 to N minus 1. And L can never be greater than or equals to N. Right? Then we have what is the value of S? For we can say 0 it is S. For 1 it is D. For 1 it is P. For 2 it is D. For 3 it is F. So this is how 0, 1, 2, 3, S, P, D, F. Right? Next students we have what is M? M is the, for example, we draw 3 boxes for P orbital, for P uh, subshell, we draw five boxes for D subshell. That means in P we have three orbitals, okay? So M defines the orbital, uh, uh, L defines the orbitals and this defines how many orbitals are actually there, okay? So magnetic quantum number, that is the orbital here. So here which says that M is equal to minus L to plus L. For example, L is 2, so that will be, M will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 2, plus 1. Right? Okay. S is only, S has only two values. That is plus half and minus half. Right? So, these are the quantum numbers. And then, students, we have this formula. Right? That is radial nodes is equal to n minus 1 mi and n minus l minus 1. Talking about angular nodes, that is l. Right? Talking about total nodes, that is n minus 1. Okay? Right? So, n and l are the quantum numbers. Then we have number of orbitals is equal to n square or 2l plus 1, right? And talking about the l and s, this formula is just as it is. So now this formula is not actually, the, the Bohr, uh, Bohr model has a different formula of calculating momentum and this has different formula. This is orbital angular momentum, this is a spin quant, a spill, uh, angular momentum, right? It has different formula than Bohr model, right? Next students, we have shapes. And this is the energy. So how energy is written? This is a simple trick that I give to my students. Okay. So this is SPDF, right? SS, then write PS, PS two times. Write DPS two times. That is DPS, DPS. Then write FDP, PS, FDPS two times. FDPS two times. After writing that, fill that one, two, three, four. How do you fill it? 
This is S start from first. Okay, so this is 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S. P starts from 2, that is 2P, 3P. Okay, D starts from 3, that is 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, 7D. F starts with 4, that is 4F, 5F, 6F, 7F, something. Okay, so all these things. Very simple way, this is the increasing order of energy. Right? So this is how electronic configuration becomes very easy for you. Now students, we have this uh, shapes. So S has spherical shape. Talking about P, it has three orbitals. That is Px, Py, Pz. Now Px, Py, Pz. So this is a dumbbell shape. Right? Okay? So then students, how the electrons are filled. Okay? So the, we have three principles. Of the principle states that electrons occupy. So it should be... Lower energy to higher energy, that is N plus 1 rule, uh, N plus a L rule, or we can say N rule for hydrogen atom, right? Okay, Pauli exclusion principle that two, not uh, there in one orbital, there should be only two electrons, and that should have opposite spin. One is positive, one is negative. And talking about Hund's rule, what does this state? For a degenerate orbitals, electrons should be singly occupied first, okay? Understood? Now, students, we have, we have some exceptions, some exceptional electronic configuration of copper and chromium. Why? Because it says that electron is jumped to 3D for half filled and fully filled are more stable. Why? Because of symmetry and high exchange energy. That is why half filled, fully filled are more stable. So these are the shapes of d orbitals. Very important, very important shapes out of these questions are asked that they ask you two things. Okay. First is, here, dx square minus y square, dxy, dyz, dzx. They have double dumbbell shape. And dz square have, this is actually dumbbell shape, but the electron clouds are there on the z-axis. Right? So this is the z square. So if they ask you, out of this, out of d orbitals, which has same shape, what should I say? dxy, dyz, dzx has same shape. dx square minus y square have different shape. No students. The shape is same for all these four because it has double dumbbell. Though dx square y dx square minus y square is along the axis and dyz, dxz and dxy are between the axis. But still the orientation is different. The shape is same. This is a PYQ. Very important. Right? Okay. So students, as you can see, we have completed everything here. Okay. So I'll give you this mind map. We have completed all the things that I have mentioned to you. Okay, all the things we have completed. Right, so then, so this Planck theory was left. That is E is equal to HC by lambda. That is H mu, where H is the Planck's constant. That's it. Okay, so you have done your revision in less than 15 minutes. And I am, this is a big chapter. And I'm coming up with more such videos. And if you like such videos, if you want us to make more such videos, do like, share, and, you know, also comment down. We wait for your comment. This actually took me six to seven hours to prepare this for you, right? More than six to seven hours, right? So, uh, I just want all of you to, you know, comment sweet, sweet things or any feedback that you want to give. And if you like it or you don't like it, okay? And what is the next chapter that you want me to make my man on, right? Okay? Okay, students and bye-bye. Take care. Love you all. Take care. And this is only for you. So, please uh, take a good rest and start preparing yourself because uh, we as teachers are doing as much as that we can do for you. Right? It's your time. You have to do your hard work also. Okay then. Bye-bye. Take care. See you all.